Cape Biofarms in Cape Town are using biotechnology to manufacture COVID-19 proteins in these plants. These proteins, called antigens, are used in rapid diagnostic test kits that can detect whether a person has antibodies against the virus in their blood, with just a single finger prick. This will show whether a person's body has mounted an immune response against the virus, indicating whether they have been exposed to COVID-19 at some point. What we've done with our plants is produce the SARS-CoV-2 antigen, the spike protein, that little spiky thing that sits on the, the virus itself. So that's, that's what attaches itself to your body. So we've produced that in a number of variations. Um, that, in fact, that antigen goes to the test kit manufacturers. We don't produce test kits, we just produce the raw protein. So it gives a really good indication as a disease management tool to get a really good picture of who's been infected or exposed, who's developed antibodies. And I would say a really powerful tool is to know who's recovered or is not even symptomatic. How these test kits would work is that you would basically prick your finger put the finger prick blood onto this uh, test strip and it kind of works like a pregnancy test where you'd get a line or two showing whether you're positive or negative, um, basically telling you, have you got antibodies in your bloodstream against this virus? Have you been exposed to the, the virus? It can't tell you whether you are currently infected with the virus though. That is still PCR-based testing, is still the best way to tell whether you currently have an infection or, or are infectious. PCR-based testing is used in community clinics and hospitals where nasal and throat swabs are taken. If you test positive for antibodies in the blood test, you will still have to undergo a PCR test to determine whether you are currently infected with the virus. The pros of the, the serology rapid testing are that it is a lot faster, so our results can come in about 15 minutes. Um, you also don't need expensive equipment such as PCR machines. Um, it, yeah, so it's faster, it's cheaper, and I think it's a lot better for surveillance testing of um, populations and communities because you can produce it so cheaply and then if you just keep testing, eventually you will get an image of the infection rate. But these test kits have yet to be released to the public. The test kit manufacturers are struggling to secure a blood supply from COVID-19 positive people to test the validity of their kits. They also still need to be authorised by the South African Health Products Regulatory Authority. These kit manufacturers can produce 180, 200,000 kits a day, which means you can test 180 to 200,000 people a day, and that's just one manufacturer. Um, so it's a very powerful tool, and you know, every day where there's a delay is information not coming into the system and information is the only way that you can manage a pandemic like this and get an, get an economy back on its feet, which we desperately need.